is going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we have a pretty interesting video i think you guys are going to like now if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while or maybe you are one of the new subscribers that might have came in from this video that i put out recently this how to make glowing animations you know that i made a lot of videos talking about after effects line animations different ways you can do it all the way up from a year ago i've talked about just the basic way to do it with an after effects i've talked about how to make this um drawn transparent with an after effects i've also talked about ways you can use different blending modes and so on and so on but in this video i really want to talk about other ways that you can make some creative looking animation for your videos whether it's a music video a dance video whatever it is so we're going to talk about using adobe photoshop and adobe animate now if you have the adobe creative cloud which if you don't i recommend you get that so that you can just get all of the adobe products through that subscription you guys are already going to have these two programs for free most of you are probably already familiar with photoshop just because it's so known by everyone pretty much a lot of you may be new to adobe animate and we're going to talk about some of the things we could do with that but before we do go into photoshop and adobe animate let me just give you a quick little breakdown of some of the cool things we can do with this animation some little tips that are going to help you if you guys want you can just skip ahead in the video to where i'm actually showing you step by step but i recommend you watch this part because i think it's just going to help you in general when you're taking those first steps so one of my biggest motivators for making this video is seeing this cool music video uh zilakami nitro cell that came out recently you might have stumbled across it if you're into the music video scene and they have some really interesting animation going on interesting line animation that i'm guessing they created using adobe photoshop or adobe animate maybe even both of those together um and just a precursor to this this was created by fat dog visuals um his instagram is right here if you want to look it up and the reason why i'm making this video is because instead of creating the same kind of lines that you're seeing everyone in their videos creating if you learn these softwares you can take that to the next step and change things when it comes to how the animation flows doing things like using different brushes like this to create different kind of blended looks um you can even work on developing your own art style obviously this guy fat dog animation shout out to him he has this kind of like basquiat looking characters and he's really good at just making the animation flow that doesn't really come down down to just having the software and having these other tools available to you obviously it's gonna help but what you really need to do is you need to kind of study your animation you need to practice it I recommend you watch this 12 part series on animation you're gonna learn a lot I'm also gonna leave some links below on some drawing pads that you guys can use to connect with Adobe Animator Photoshop also I'm leaving a link to just a normal uh, sketchbook like this if you guys want kind of have a foot in everything whether it's 3d whether it's just editing whether it's premiere after effects film but I do think that just drawing and writing down ideas helps as a whole and the last thing i want to show you before we do hop into photoshop and adobe animate and actually show you the steps on how you can begin to create some animations is just a little cool example that came out from um, this hyperx ad that features a lot of people like juju smith schuster the football player um, shroud post malone is in it what i really love about this is just blending real life footage with actual animation and if i go frame by frame you're going to see it here so what they do is they start bringing in elements of the animation and frame by frame it all just starts to come together until it really turns all the way into animation if i play that in real speed it looks pretty cool like that and obviously this is a super advanced version of animation compared to just line animation that we're going to talk about in this but you can see how it can really come together and i think that this channel is just a good way to open those doors for people that may be interested in this so let's start off with photoshop because i've talked about this at the end of my kids turned out fine asap rocky music video on how to do this so let's go ahead and fire up photoshop i'm just going to go ahead and create a new page 1920 by 1080 and what we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead and open up some video footage and we can open it up directly into Photoshop so go ahead and open up a video into Photoshop just click file open find an mp4 mov file whatever it is it'll open it up like a layer just like this and you'll be able to scrub through like any other normal video this is footage from a recent music video that's going to be coming out soon that I directed now before we begin with this I'm going to give you a quick 15 20 second little rundown of how i usually would show you in after effects on how we did this animation obviously like i said if you're subscribed to this channel you're probably super used to how we do it dragging our footage into after effects just like we did within photoshop and like i said if you guys want a full tutorial on how to do it this way i'm going to leave some links in the description on all the things i mentioned at the beginning drag your footage in double click it so that you're in a layer and then you can go ahead and use the brush tool making sure that in your paint options you're painting on single frame instead of constant for your duration you can just draw whatever you would like using any brush any color and you may move frame by frame like that now you'll see we have our little animation just like that now there's a few little constraints that after effects kind of struggles with when it comes to this type of animation that you're going to see work better within photoshop and adobe animate number one is in terms of the 
brushes, this is pretty much all you get. Now there is a plugin that lets you be able to import any custom brush in After Effects. Link to that down below. I'm pretty sure it's like $50. But obviously if you have Photoshop for free, it's already built in with these features where you can go ahead and select any other brush. Go ahead and select any other brush. You can download a bunch of different brushes from the internet, as well as it comes with a bunch of presets. Something like Kyle's Real Oils One brush, and it looks like this. Um, you can blend it together with different colors like that, just kind of like real paint. It looks really cool. Let's go ahead and undo that for now. But what we want to do first is actually create a new layer that we can put this animation into. So go ahead and click new layer at the bottom right here. My actual camera might be covering it. So I'll move this over. You'll see this is the new page. Now the trick here, take that new layer, drag it above this video group one, and you'll see it open up in layer two. Next, what you want to do is you want to take that layer you can use these little tools just to zoom in a bit and you want to place it where your cursor is just like that and now you'll be able to draw on that layer and like i said this is just the way i've been doing it i'm not sure if this is the exact way that people animate within photoshop this is just an easy way that i like to do it i'll click page down to move frame by frame or just use my arrow keys if it's not letting you do that click this little option button and make sure you enable timeline shortcut keys so i'll move one key over i'll move one frame over i'll just click this little scissor key and i'll just repeat that a bunch of times so i can cut out a bunch of frames from this layer and you're gonna see as I do that over here in the right it's just creating a bunch of new layers that are literally only one frame long so cut out however long you want this animation to last based off the video and then once you've got that all figured out we can zoom out I'm gonna make sure that that layer is selected just like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw whatever I want so like I said you have those preset brushes and you can import any other brushes from the internet that you find for free and I'm gonna go ahead and draw something. Go ahead and change the size of our brush to something that we'd like, maybe something like 28. Some normal little crosses over his eyes. Like I said, I'm not an expert at animating. I'm not an expert at drawing. I'm just opening the door for you guys, showing you the techniques so that you guys can interpret that in any way. And not my opinion, being able to use this kind of a brush where it blends like that is just cool in itself. There's just a lot more things that you can do in Photoshop that you can in After Effects. So here's what that's looking like so far. If I just kind of scrub through, pretty cool with that dry brush. And another great thing about doing it in Photoshop is you can go and select that specific layer or all the layers that you want, select it like this, and you can go in, you can double click on the layer, you can use any of these layer style tools to make them glow, to add drop shadow, whatever you wanna do, like that. Click outer glow, and now you have some glowing animation on there. I mean, you can really do anything. Add stroke, add bevel and emboss, just to kind of give it a unique look. There's really a bunch of different options you guys have for this. You can go ahead and change the opacity of the layers. You can even add and change any of these blending modes. So I think learning it within Photoshop is great if you want those extra options in terms of the customization of the look, but at the same time, going through Adobe Animate is gonna help with, I think, the flow of the animation better because you have some more tools that are really aimed towards animation. Also, since these are layers, what you can do is you can add any effect that's built into Photoshop. So let's go to filter, stylize. You can go ahead and mess around with any of this. Quick little tip, if you click wind, you can actually add a little pixel sorting effect. We talked about that in a lot of things. And there you go, now you have some kind of pixel sorting going on there. Whenever you're satisfied with your animation you created through Photoshop, you just go up to file, export as, and then you can go ahead and select your video file from this file settings. Okay, so we talked about this line animation within Photoshop, all the benefits of it. Obviously you get those brushes, get a lot more customization that you don't get within After Effects. Now we're gonna transition over into Adobe Animate. I think that Photoshop is a great starter. For those of you that may be starting to transition away from um, After Effects line animation, and we just want that kind of extra boost that you can get within Photoshop because Photoshop is something that a lot of you may be familiar with. Adobe Animate, I think is great to learn if you really want to take it to the next level. It's giving you a lot more tools that are more directed towards animators. Let's go ahead and hop into Adobe Animate. But before that, set up our footage to add those line animations in. So we're gonna use After Effects to set this up. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a little clip out of this that we wanna add these line animations into. So I'm just going to click here, Control Shift D to split it. And I'm just going to grab um, a small section so that we're not dragging in a huge amount. So we have this little chunk that we want to bring into Adobe Animate. Let's actually drag this to the beginning of our timeline and then Control C to copy it. Let's create a new composition and let's see how long this clip is. It's about, it's about two seconds, 14. So create a new composition for the composition settings. We're going to make the duration of that two seconds. 14 for the length of our clip make sure that all the resolution and all that is the same click ok 
and then with that copied from our other scene control v to paste that in so we have our little clip here that we'd like to bring into animate let's go ahead and click file export add to render queue um, for our output module we're going to go ahead and click here we're going to go ahead and change the format from avi over to jpeg sequence or what you can do is png sequence we're going to stick with jpeg sequence just to make it easier quality you can go ahead and bump that all the way up if you're working on a rig that can't really take it as much maybe bump it down to something like eight click OK. All right, that should be good for now. Click OK here. Now this is important. We're going to go ahead and click output two. We're going to want to make a new folder for this JPEG sequence because it's going to export a bunch of different pictures. So we're going to name this um, Adobe Animate Tut and then file name, file name. We can just name this whatever's and then click render to render that all out. And it should be relatively quick if we're just rendering out the uh, JPEGs. Now we can go ahead and open up Adobe Animate so that we can bring that JPEG sequence in and we can essentially do exactly what we did with Photoshop where we start drawing in a layer. But like I said, you have a lot more tools and I'm going to point you to some useful resources to really get you started within Animate because by no means am I an expert at this software. I'm really just trying to open the door to new techniques that you guys can use that are going to up your game. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up a scene 1920 by 1080. And like I said at the beginning where I recommend getting one of those drawing pads, it works great with this software so that you can actually just physically draw it with a pen instead of using a mouse and keyboard. So some benefits with Adobe Animate, it's vector based. So for example, if I was to draw something and change size, it's not gonna lose any resolution. Opposed to a software that's pixel based, if you try and scale something up, it's going to start losing some resolution. So that's good to know. It's similar to Illustrator in that sense. But anyways, let's go ahead and find that folder that we just saved that JPEG sequence. Comp one, as you can see, all of our JPEGs right here. I'm going to select all of them and then just drag them into our comp and they might be a little bit offset just go ahead and drag them into the correct position so that we're all lined up and ready to go okay with those in place we can actually select all of them right click and just click distribute to keyframes that's just going to distribute each of those layers into its own little space here in the keyframes in our timeline they're looking pretty good let's go ahead and just create a new layer which is going to be our animation layer so click this button here similar to photoshop next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to double click here to select this area right click and then just click convert to keyframes you're going to see all these little circles pop up and now we're ready to actually start animating from this layer so you can use all these tools that you have over here on the right and i think at this point it's a good idea to go check out some of the links for for beginners starting out with the software in terms of just learning some shortcuts some tips and tricks but essentially let's just show you how we can do what we've been doing before with the line animation we'll select something like the brush tool or the paintbrush tool so if you do set up that pen pad you can use pressure and tilt to change the way your brush is this is kind of just the basic setup you can also change the smoothing with your brush tool you can draw like normal like we've shown in after effects and photoshop so let me just show that real quick. But another cool little thing is what you can do is actually select this paintbrush tool. And with this paintbrush tool, if you click here, it may just show some basic ones like this. But if you click this button, you can go ahead and see some preset, um, pretty cool little looks that you can get with your actual brush, like barbed wire, for example. And you can actually paint that straight on to animation, move to your next frame. This line art one is pretty cool in terms of creating these interesting looking shapes. You can go for the decorative look. Artistic has some cool ones if you want some kind of wet brush looks calligraphy looks etc the great thing about this is you can even take your selection tools you can move anything bend anything you can actually select the object and move it transform it around um, bend the actual joints because it is vector based and that's what i mean by all of the actual options that you have within adobe animate like i said this is just some basic knowledge if you really want the full bread and butter you need to just grind out adobe animate tutorials you're going to be seeing some more content from me as my channel grows as well you've been seeing 3d tutorials from me I already put out tons of premiere and after effects stuff I do want to continue and show you more cool tricks for Photoshop animation and Adobe Animate animation because there's a lot you can do with it. I think that pushing this onto you guys is going to open more doors for you. Art in the music video field, learning stuff like this is going to give you that edge over people that are just doing the same kind of After Effects line animation. Being able to know these other softwares and just have different creative edge, apply individuality onto things, having more options for how you can create things is just a huge advantage for you. It's going to make you more money, get you more clients. That's just speaking on the music video side. 
side of things if you do these kind of dance videos if you want them to look more fluid adobe animate is a great way to go if you want to have that creative brush look photoshop adobe animate check out the tutorials that i linked in the description it's going to give you a great start for not only the 12 principles of animation and of course if you guys want let me know in the comment section if you want more content from me speaking more on these subjects anyways guys thank you for watching hope you did enjoy this tutorial leave a like comment subscribe do all that good stuff anyways guys thank you so much for watching and supporting and i'll see you guys in the next one